Very good morning, children. Let's move on to a new chapter in Max, chapter 13, Money. So first, let's learn what is money. Money is used to pay for the things we buy. Suppose you need a pencil, you go to a shop and when the shopkeeper gives you a pencil, in return, you have to pay for the pencil. So you purchase something using money. So what is money? Money is used to pay for the things we buy. This is the symbol for money. You know, in India, we use the Indian rupee. And this is the symbol for the rupee. You have learned the Hindi letter Ra. So how do you write the letter? This is letter Ra and draw a horizontal line here. And this is the symbol of Indian rupee. Money includes notes and coins. So here you can see a 1 rupee coin and 2 rupees coin. So how do you identify whether it's 1 rupee or 2 rupees? You can see the value written on this coin. Here you can see 1 rupee it's written and here also you can see the symbol given and the value that is 2 is given here. So you can identify this as 1 rupee and this as 2 rupees coin. And also we have 5 rupees coin and 10 rupees coin. Here also you can see the value written on the coin so that you can identify whether it is a 5 rupee or 10 rupees. Next let's move on to the notes. Here you can see a 10 rupees note, 20 rupees note and a 50 rupees note. So here you can see the value written on this note. We can identify by looking at the notes. Here it is rupees 10, this is rupees 20 and this is rupees 50. This is a 100 rupee note and this is 200 rupee note. And here you can see a 500 rupee note and 2000 rupees note. So here you can see the value written rupees 2000. So here you can see a 10 rupee note and a 5 rupee coin. So how much is the total when you are given like this? We have to find out the total amount. So what is it? 10 plus 5. So how much is 10 plus 5? it is 15 rupees. So the, how much it is? The total is 15 and you can write it as rupees 15. The symbol should be inserted in front of the value. Here you can see a 20 rupee note and a 10 rupee note. So how much is the total amount? How can we find it out? We should add 20 plus 10 and how much is 20 plus 10? It is 30. So we can write it as rupees 30. Here we can see a 20 rupee note 10 rupee note and a 2 rupee coin. So how much is the total? How can we find it out? 20 plus 10 plus 2. So 20 plus 10 is 30. 30 plus 2 is 32. So how can we find it out? 20 plus 10 is 30. 30 plus 2 is 32 and the total amount is 32 rupees and we have written rupees 32. Here you can see a 50 rupee note 20 rupees note and a 10 rupees note. So we have to find out the total value. For finding it, let's add the total that we have here. So first let's add 50 plus 20. So how much is 50 plus 20? It is 70. With that 70, we have to add this 10 also. So 70 plus 10 is 80. So how much do we have here in total? We have 80 rupees. And here it is written rupees 80. Now next, let's learn about exchanging money. Here in your text in page number 173, you can say this, let's read what it is. Exchanging money. If we have to pay a certain amount, say rupees 50, then different combination of notes can be used as given below. Suppose you go to a shop and when you purchase it is rupees 50 and you don't have a 50 rupee note then you can also pay different combinations of 50 rupees. So let's see how it is. Here you can see a 50 rupee note and we can see what are the different combinations of 50 rupees. Here you can see 220 rupees and 25 rupees. So let's add how much it is. 20 plus 20. So how much is 20 plus 20? It is 40. With that 40, let's add this 5. 40 plus 5 becomes 45. 45 plus 5 becomes 50. Now the total amount here is 50. So even if you don't have a 50 rupee note, you can give 220 rupees and 25 rupees. 
Now let's look here. Here we have 10 rupees. And how many 10 rupees are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 10 rupees are there. And how much it is total? 10 plus 10, 20. 20 plus 10, 30. 30 plus 10, 40. 40 plus 10, 50. So when it is 5 10 rupee notes, it becomes 50. Now let's look here. Here we have 2 20 rupee notes and 1 10 rupees. So how much it is in total? 20 plus 20 is 40. 40 plus 10 becomes 50. So here also we are having 50 rupees. So even if you don't have a single 50 rupee note, you can also pay different combinations of 50 rupees like this. Now here we have a 100 rupee note. So let's see the different combinations of 100 rupees. Here you can see 250 rupees. So how much is 50 plus 50? 50 plus 50. So let's add it. First let's start from the ones place. 0 plus 0, 0 and 5 plus 5 is 10. So how much did you get? It is 100. So when you have 250 rupees, it means that you are having 100 rupees. So if you don't have a single 100 rupee note, you can also give 250 rupees. And also here you can see 10 10 rupees notes. So how much is 10 tens? 10 into 10 is equal to 100. So 10 tens also forms 100. Here we have 50, 10, 20, 20. So let's see how much it is in total. 50 plus 10 is 60. 60 plus 20 becomes 80. And 80 plus 20 becomes 100. So here we have this in total 100 rupees. Now let's move on to our next one. Page number 173. Reena, Sakshi and Suhana went to a supermarket to purchase some stationery items. They all paid different amounts there. Reena paid rupees 150, Sakshi paid rupees 75 and Suhana paid rupees 190. So the three of them, Reena, Sakshi and Suhana went to supermarket to purchase some stationery items and they paid different amounts. Reena paid rupees 150, Sakshi paid rupees 75 and Suhana paid rupees 190. So now what we have to do here, match the amount to the bills. One pair of scissors worth rupees 190, five pens worth rupees 150 and one stapler worth rupees 75. Now this amount we have to find it here. So first let's see 190. So look at the first one here we have 50 plus 20 plus 5. So how much it is? 50 plus 20, 70. 70 plus 5 is 75. So let's write 75 here. You can write rupees 75 total. Now how much this is? 100 plus 50 plus 20 plus 10 plus 10. So 100 plus 50 becomes 150. 150 plus 20 is 170. 170 plus 10 becomes 180, 180 plus 10 becomes rupees 190. So let's write it here. Now let's look at the third one. Here we have 100 plus 50. So it is 150. So now it's easy for you to match. First one, one pair of scissors rupees 190. So where should we match it? We have to match this to here. Next, five pence worth rupees 150. And where is 150? Here you found the total 150. So this, you can draw a line here. And the third one, one stapler worth rupees 75. So this, you can draw a line here. So hope this is clear to you now. Now let's move on to our next exercise. Select the correct amount to receive the courier. One has been done for you. So here you can see rupees 19. And here different values have been given. We have to find out rupees 19. You can see here a 5 rupee coin, 2 rupees, 2 rupees, 2 rupees, 1 rupee and a 10 rupee. We have to get rupees 19. So how much should we add to get rupees 19? This has been done for you. So first they have taken 10 rupee note, 10 plus 2 becomes 12, 12 plus 
2 becomes 14 and 14 plus 5 becomes 19. So they have circled it here. Now let's look at the question number B. Here we have to find out rupees 23 and we have been given 20 rupee note, 10 rupees note, 5 rupee coin, 2 rupee coin, 1 rupee coin and a 50 paisa. So we have to get rupees 23. So first let's take this 20 rupee note. If we add this 10 rupee note we get 30 rupees. So that is not needed for us we needed only rupees 23. So let's take the next one 20 plus 5 it is 25 that is also not what we need. So next take 2 rupee coin 20 plus 2. So 20 plus 2 becomes 22 we need to get 23. Now let's add with that 1 rupee coin also with 22 if we add 1 rupee we get Let's add and find out 2 plus 1, 3 and this 2 will write it and we get 23. So how should we draw a line? Let's take this 20 rupee note and this 2 rupee and this 1 rupee. So this is what we need to get 23 rupees. Likewise, you can complete these two also. Next, let's move on to our next topic, rupees and paise. So 1 rupee is written as rupees 1.00. The point or the dot separates the rupee and the paise. So here it is written rupees 1.00. And how do you read it? It is 1 rupee. So this dot or the point separates the rupee and the paise. So rupees is written on the left side of the dot and paise is written on the right side. Let's see what it is. Here you can see 2.75. So how can we read it? Rupees 275 paise. And you have already learned the number name so it's easy for you to write. So we have to write that in words. So how can we write it? 2 rupees 75 paise. The point the left side that comes is rupees and the right side of the dot the number comes is the paise. So let's look at the second one here we have rupees 15.15 that is 15 paise so 15 rupees 15 paise so how can we write that 15 rupees we have already learned the number name so what is the number name of 15 f i f t e e n so 15 rupees 15 paise next you can read this as rupees 74 30 paise and we can write that in words 74 rupees 30 paise. The last one this is rupees 56 60 paise. So we can write that in words 56 rupees 60 paise. Now the number names have been given and we have to write the rupees and paise. So let's look at the first one here it is 5 rupees 20 paise. So how do we write it? rupees symbol 5 rupees dot 20 paise the next one 10 rupees 50 paise so first the symbol of rupee and it is 10 rupees so 10 rupees point 50 paise so 10.50 Next it is 75 rupees 80 paise. So it is rupees 75.80. So 75 rupees 80 paise. 33 rupees 25 paise and it's written as rupees 33.25. So we have an exercise page number 175. Write in figures one has been done for you. So the rupees and paise the figures have been given and we have to write the amount here. So first one 8 rupees 45 paise has been done for us rupees 8.45 and it reads 8 rupees 45 paise. Now let's look at the second one question B we have 11 rupees 30 paise. So first let's write the rupees. Let's write the symbol then 11 rupees dot 30 paise. Question C, 24 rupees 60 paise. 
so the symbol then 24 24 dot it is 60 paise so after the dot you can write 60 so likewise you can complete the rest of the exercises next question 2 we have write in words one has been done for you so first one it is rupees 3.55 and we have to write it in words so 3 rupees 55 paise let's look at the second question here it is rupees 14.45 so how can we write it 14 rupees 45 paise so this is how we can write it so the next one also you can do it similarly next page number 172 count and write the total money in each box one has been done for you so here Question A, you can see a 5 rupee note, 10 rupee note and a 2 rupee coin. So we have to add this. 5 plus 10 becomes 15. 15 plus 2 is 17. So it is written here rupees 17. Let's look at question B. Here you can see 10 rupee note, 20 rupee note, 2 rupee coin, 5 rupee coin and again a 5 rupee coin. So let's add it. 10 plus 20 is 30. Now with that 30 we have to add these coins. 30 plus 2 becomes 32. 32 plus 5 is 37 and 37 plus 5 is 42. So you can write here rupees 42. So likewise you can complete these two also. So with this we finish today's topic money hope you understood we'll be meeting in the next class till then thank you.